folks, Jonathan here. I figured today's adventure would include this wheel. Uh, we've got four spokes that we've got to replace in this wheel. And this is for the Willys Whippet. And if I can get this done and then I get two tires on it, I, we can actually start it up and drive it around and move it around. And, you know, that's our goal for probably the next week or so. Anyway, we'll, you know, maybe be able to get to it. But uh, for now, what we're going to try to do is... Uh, make some spokes and we're going to do this using uh, metal working equipment instead of woodworking equipment most of it anyway uh, just because that's what I've got and uh, you know these spokes exact match each other they're just flipped because of the angles I'll show you that in just a minute uh, one thing I want to show you you know these has got dowels on the ends that come through the rim and I haven't measured them yet I think they're half inch but what I've did is uh, I bought this tool and this is actually a dowel cutter now the last patent date on this is we can see it uh, looks like November 22nd of 80 and that's not 1980 that's uh, would be 1880 but what we've got to do is uh, we've got to take this shaft out and I'm going to put a round shaft in it and I'm hoping that this is threaded in. It looks like it's threaded in, but we'll make sure if we can get it out and get us a round shaft on it, then we can mount this up in the lathe and, I'm sorry, mount this up in the milling machine and then we can dial indicate or get our spoke exactly above it and come down on it and cut the end of it with the dial and that's going to cut us to length. But the first thing we've got to do is cut some spokes out and or machine some spokes out and some of you may have seen that I had or me and Noah or Noah and I had actually you know bored the center hole to fit this this hub because this is a back rim or a back wheel and we're putting it on the front so we've got that part done and these are just tapered these are all the spokes are the same but some of them are flipped that's the only difference and so we're going to go ahead and get one pulled out now I had some trouble finding hickory uh, unfortunately finding anything you know that I, I could use was pretty rough I couldn't find this needed to be you know about eight inches I found some six inch pieces that was uh, turning blanks is what they're called and then a lot of them that were smaller you know for pencils and for people to turn pens or whatever out and you know I thought about it a little while and I said well you know maybe I can buy something else and, and adapt it to it so I actually saved a lot of money and I went and bought this hickory uh, wheelbarrow handle and it's a replacement it's two inch wide inch and a half thick it's hickory and it uh, it's plenty long enough to cut out however many I need I think it's 60 inches total you know if you include the rounded part of the handle with that end but uh, but this will get all our spokes out of it this was 14 bucks. The only blanks I found that would actually work was $34 or something like that with shipping. And they were not kiln dry. They were actually still green. So, you know, I was I was just having some issues with it. But So we've got what we need now. We'll cut them things, you know, that thing to length. And then uh, we're going to try to set up and, and hopefully be able to uh, mill these out. And we're going to try it on the milling machine, see how they do, make sure we get a good surface. Uh, I know it would uh, probably be better just to set up a table saw or band saw or whatever, but uh, we're just going to work with what I've got and, and make it work without having to, you know, invest in a bunch of tools. I've got a table saw with a bad motor. I've got my band saw, but the, I've got to find some guides for it or make some guides for it. Uh, they're not available. So, uh, so I'm kind of, you know, in a bind when it comes to woodwork and stuff, but we'll, we'll manage. Uh, that's the whole point of doing things. So. All right, let me get a spoke out of this thing and we'll start. Okay, folks, there's the four blanks cut to lengths, and I've got enough left to do three more spokes. Now, I need one more spoke in one of the other wheels, so uh, we'll build a spare for it. All right, this is our surface planer for the day, anyway. We're going to bring it into the right thickness first.
the reason I'm bringing it back and doing it again from this end is I don't want to chip the wood out. So, so just turning clockwise should uh, hopefully not chip any height. Okay. okay, we actually ended up with a really nice surface. Uh, smooth. And that's the thickness we, thickness we need. So we've got one side done anyway. Now we just got to do everything else. So, Alright, I'll get at it and get the other three done and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so we got all four of our pieces to thickness. And what I want to do next is, I, I went in and traced one on here. There's a radius down here. Now, I wish that radius was a three inch radius and then I could just use a uh, three inch uh, cutter for my horizontal mill, but it's three and an eighth. So I'm gonna to try to set up my boring bar at three and an eighth to where it'll swing and cut that. And I'm gonna do the radius on the ends of all three of these. Now, what I'm gonna to try to do is come out of the side of my boring head and uh, with a boring bar and I'll see if I can get it figured out but you know that's a half inch hole in the center so we just know we need to if we bring it back in zero we can set our distance out which would be you know from the center of the hole would be half the three and eight so we'll do all the math here and see if we can get it figured out and get the size right for the radius and then we'll see if we can cut one okay got it set up uh, I can hear the woodworkers laughing at me already, but we're going to give this a try. Got it perfectly centered. I had to do a little bit of a test, you know, just to, to scrape it down a little bit to, to get it perfect centered. But we're, I've got a square bit in it, so we're running it backwards so the cutter cuts. But we're going to give it a try. Yeah, I think that's going to work fine. I don't have anything that's round three and an eighth inch where I can hold up against it, but I think that's going to be good. Now we can set the other, the other three up and get them knocked out, and that'll leave us with uh, starting our angled cuts on the sides. Uh, I checked this as five degrees, uh, so we can. Uh, we're going to set up somehow. I haven't decided how I'm going to do it yet. But we're going to. We're going to set it up somehow to get that five degrees out of it. And I know you know. I'm not a woodworker, and I would. I'm not, I wouldn't attempt to freehand cut that on a saw or anything. So I figure if I want it right, I know I can do it this way, and it'll be right. I mean. It's not the most practical way of doing it, and like I said, I'm sure there's some woodworkers out there just laughing their butt off, but, you know, it's just the way I choose to do it because this is the way I know, so. All right, let me get at it. Come out perfect right on the line. So uh, now we're going to set up for our five degrees. Now this part here, I'll probably hand do everything on the round part. But you know, most important part now is going to be the two five degree angles on the end. Now this is the widest section. 
so we turned over some arrow. So we're gonna get it marked out. Now we're gonna. Uh, Oh, let me see. We'll probably just go five degrees that way or we'll figure it out. Okay, folks. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here and we'll get set back up on it and do the angles next time. Uh, I know it's probably kind of short, but I've uh, got some other stuff I need to get taken care of. Uh, I think what we're going to do is I've got, this is not a swivel vise. This is for CNC machines. I'm going to take this off, put my swivel vise on and uh, then we're going to use this machine machinist vise and that way we can set up our our five degree one way and I haven't checked to see what the angle is this way but we'll set up both angles and that way we can uh, set each piece up in the vise and uh, we'll machine them off but uh, and uh, you know like I said I'm not a woodworker but uh, we're gonna do this like if we was doing it out of steel at least I know it'll be right I mean that's my whole my whole goal anyway so uh alternative ways of doing things i guess uh sometimes i like to do it the hard way so uh and i know a, a lot of you would have probably just knocked this you know knocked these pieces out like they were nothing on you know doing woodwork but you know it's just the way i choose to do it so uh you know we're in the home stretch we'll get it knocked out and then uh and we'll get it back in the wheel all right